And ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. We have just signed off on property number three, just seven months after signing off property number two. So there we go. Acquired, signed, sealed, delivered, getting ready to exchange on the contract so we can close on the contract and get the keys to the contract. But guess what? Get the keys to the house. Sorry, get the keys to the house. But guess what? Susan still hasn't even seen this house. <laughs> Trust you. <laughs> Susan hasn't oh, come on, give a spot to that. Susan hasn't seen the house. I saw the house. I put an offer for it. Bought the house. Did all the paperwork and everything. She has no idea what, where this house is and what this house even looks like. But it's a beautiful deal, man. Like we don't make racks off it already. So congratulations on on, on, on making money. Congratulations. <laughs> Hello, guys. What's going on? So we bought this house. It's our third property, right? And throughout the whole purchase, this is Susan's first time actually seeing this house. In person. In person. We've already got the keys. So there's no turning back this time around, okay? Yeah. Alright, so let's go in. Come on, let's, let's go. go. Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're back with another video, meaning we are back with another property. Before we proceed into today's video, I would like to summon your support smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video with someone. We're putting a lot of work into our videos. We're putting a lot of work into our content. Um, but before I waffle on, let's go to property number three. Follow me. Guys, we did it again. Well, Susan and I have only just went ahead and purchased our third property, just seven months after the purchase of our second. So this beautiful three bedroom house is in a modern condition throughout, located just eight minutes walk away from the high street, 10 minutes walk from the station with schools, shops, a hospital, a football stadium and a university nearby, making it an ideal investment property. Similar to property number one and number two, we weren't just looking for any property or, you know, a, or a house, to buy. On the contrary, see we often say that we don't just buy houses and that we buy deals and this one was no exception. But this one did not come easy. Unfortunately, due to the stamp duty holiday in 2021, which we fortunately benefited from, <laughs> there were hardly much deals to be got in this area. I find myself getting outbidded by much bigger investors and first time buyers again and again. I couldn't believe how much these people were offering and I must confess, I also broke my number one rule in buying a property. I offered above asking price. But I still kept on getting outbidded again and again, which was very, very, very frustrating at the time. I remember going about £15,000 above asking price on two properties, but I stood no chance. I tried every tactic there was on the, on the, on the deal finding handbook, on the property buying handbook, on the investor handbook, to no avail. I must have viewed about 21 properties at the time of purchase, nothing went through. And I also brought on other investors and at a point we had £120,000. We started broadening our surge but unfortunately that also fell through. So the stress at this point was stressing. <laughs> Eventually my wife intervened as she could see that I was losing my patience and reminded me that you know the right deal would come along and not to be impatient enough to overpay. Looking back at it now it was obvious that you know the market was unstable and we were going through an inflation period and you know I couldn't see that at the time I genuinely couldn't the issue at the time wasn't the lack of houses in the market on the contrary there were so many houses coming on daily but they were overpriced and you know due to the stamp duty holiday the low mortgage interest rate and a lot of investors had more money to play with so they would always overpay but not us um, and, it, and at the time as well it was a seller's market but unfortunately for them I know the area really well. I know how much it should be priced at. I know how much you know the threshold is. I know what you should offer to stand at a position to gain, um, you know, to have equity prior to even getting the keys to your house. You know, so for me, I was very, very adamant on not paying a penny over what I actually should be paying, and I stood by that. Anyways, back to this beautiful house, right? Um, I first viewed this house along with four other on the same day. Immediately, I thought it was completely way out of my league as it was in a good condition, a great location, and the potential to extend um, as the property next door has already been extended into a four bedroom HMO. So 
which means getting planning permission on this property shouldn't be a nightmare or shouldn't be that difficult seeing as it's already been approved on you know the next value so there is so much value so much um well pretty, pretty much monetary value sitting on this property at the moment that hasn't been unlocked yet but at the time i was looking for something that was a little bit more kept um you know run down something that required a bit of repair um so you know so, so that way i can actually justify my below market value offer when indeed i do offer to the estate agent being equipped with all of that information, I unfortunately at first did not put in an offer for this property. Um, as I knew it being in the condition it was, it would attract a lot of investors and first time buyers and I wasn't prepared for a bid and war, so I didn't offer. However, you know, the other four properties that I viewed, I put in an offer for and it was declined immediately and sold immediately. <laughs> so I had no property. Um, about seven weeks later, um, I saw this house back on the market. So immediately I rang the agents and I was like, you know, I immediately, of course, I knew something was wrong and I was informed that unfortunately, um, you know, the previous person who put in the offer for this property had, you know, pulled that due to finance reasons, which meant the property was back on the market, but only for online viewing. And immediately I knew that was my opportunity to jump in. A, a lot of people would be put off online viewing alone and wouldn't want to place an offer based on the, you know, just online viewing. I've done online viewing at times and though it's a decent technology, it's not always the best because it doesn't really give you the feel for the dimension of the property. So I knew that was going to put off a lot of buyers. B, the seller must be frustrated at this time after already thinking that her house is sold and now it's falling through. So she would definitely need reassurance, which I'm good at. <laughs> um, C, I have already seen this property, right? So I don't need to re-inspect re it all over again. I've already, I know the dimensions, I know what it feels like. Um, I know it's in a great condition, so definitely like, let's go for it. D, we've got the cash ready to proceed and I can get my broker to send the letter of reassurance to the estate agent. So without wasting much time, I put in a silly offer, 15,000 pounds below Pre the, below the previous buyer's um, offer. However, Susan, my wife, also my business partner, told me, go lower. <laughs> um, so I went 22,000 pounds below the previous offer, along with a convincing argument to act promptly. I lost you there, I lost you. What was that? Yeah, I just wanted to be to check you know, how committed you are to the property because obviously if they're going to take a low offer they want to be confident in you as a, as a buyer and from our conversations you sound committed the other thing is they wanted to as i sent over um, a screenshot of our bank statement and proof of deposit as proof of deposit um our broker's details our lawyer's details agreements in principle even though you know this wasn't requested for at the time so i was proactive as opposed to being reactive at the time, which is ideal for when it is indeed you're looking to buy a property. And lo and behold, the offer was accepted immediately without any negotiations. And at the time I was thinking, hmm, maybe I should have gone a bit lower than that. <laughs> but you know, everyone always thinks that whenever you get a deal, you always think to yourself, maybe I should have gone lower, but that's beyond the point. This journey has been a tedious one as the last 18 months of my life has been dedicated to property having bought two properties within the last year whilst running a business working full-time preparing for the birth of my beautiful baby boy um, and I am extremely proud of myself and my wife Susan also my business partner um, having you know did exactly what we set out for ourselves in 2021 not often do people you know get what they pray for let alone what they work for but to be in a position to have actually got exactly what we prayed for, worked for, swept for, and you know, <clears throat> be in good health is amazing. And for that, I am so grateful to God. I'm so grateful to my wife, and I'm grateful for the support that we've, we have, the support system we have around us from our friends and our families, and also the well wishes, the good com the comments that you guys give to us on social media the encouragement the the dms every single thing you know we i told you guys right now we are very very grateful if you're watching this video you don't have to comment you don't have to you know even leave a like but if you regularly give us that good energy you know whenever you see our content i want to say to you thank you i'm grateful to you guys and welcome aboard 
to the journey to acquire property number four. Blah. So, do you want to give your little verdict on, on the whole? Because we've been, uh, how long did it take to buy this, this property? It's taken that. quite a while. Um, I think I started in, was it May, June? July? I started in July. Mm -hmm. We're in January now, 2020. Um, Two. Sorry, 2022. And um, all this while, I've been doing the paperwork, doing, going back and forth. You've still not seen the property. So, now that you've seen it in person and you can put an address to this purchase, like, what's your final thought then? Yeah, it's good. I mean, like I said, for the price we paid, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really, really good. Yeah, yeah. Really good condition. Yeah. Um, obviously, I can see that it requires a little bit of work before we can have it rented out. But all in all, I am happy with it and I think okay. it's a good buy. Brilliant. So, I'm happy with that. So, no